Hi, so today we're looking at ways of connecting my freshly acquired Commodore 64 that I picked up recently to an older display. Now you might ask why would I want to do that? Well, I don't have a CRT television. I've got been using this rather large LCD um, TV and it comes out quite nice. But I do have this. I have this um, old VGA CRT that um, a colleague of mine kindly donated to me because they weren't making any use of it and I thought wouldn't it be great to be able to connect the uh, Commodore 64 to it. So how are we going to accomplish connecting this machine that has analogue video outs, RF, a video connector that does composite and S-video, either or, to a VGA monitor. Well, I already own one of these little things. Now you've probably seen a lot of people um, talking about these, you know, it's quite controversial. There are, there are basically a SCART to HDMI converter. Now, there are lots of different versions of this. I think they're all based on the same thing. But if you're lucky, you can pick up one of these from eBay or Amazon, depending where you are, and you'll get a good one. Uh, other YouTubers have used these and, you know, they're not the most accurate or, you know, best quality thing to use. But if you're on a budget like I am, I can't remember exactly how much this was, but it was under £20. Um, it does a pretty good job. It also it does RGB SCART as well as composite. It doesn't do S video as far as I know. I'll put a link in the, the one I got from Amazon UK, I believe, in the description. I'll also put a link to uh, Jan Beta. Uh, he did a, a video where he 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 synced this because he, his was getting quite hot. So he, he uses this for general um, general purposes, testing and that sort of thing, and the odd like that and he's quite impressed with it so I'll put a link to that and he's put a, he's done a few mods to his as well as heat sinking. Um, I'll probably end up heat sinking this um, but I haven't got the heat sinks at the minute. The way these work if you get a good one is basically inside there's a chip uh, which is basically the same sort of chip that LCD panels use to convert signals to the panel so you're basically getting a mini TV converter in there if you're lucky. So how does that help me getting this onto a VGA monitor? Well this will end up outputting HDMI and then I picked up one of these. This cost me about three pounds something on eBay and this is a uh, HDMI to VGA converter. Shall we see what it looks like? Right, let's see what we get. Turn the screen on. Right, so we're currently getting no signal because, but we are getting a signal. Let's turn on the Commodore 64. Now I've got it set to 800 by 600 and apologies for the flickering but that's to do with the uh, resolution of the, the refresh rate of the, the CRT, it's not a, on my screen it looks pretty good. Now I know people will say there are other ways, more expensive ways, obviously I can get a scan line uh, upscaler and um, double or that sort of stuff, there are different devices but you're looking at a bit of money for those, uh, which I don't really have at the minute. <laughs> I wouldn't mind one day getting that and then putting it back on an LCD. This is for more nostalgia reasons. 
Now, um, you may also say, well, why don't you get uh, this video um, out for this and then use an S video to VGA. I might do that. They're not they're not mega expensive, but I need to do a bit of research because some of those are very poorly made and poorly the the, the qu video quality is poor. With this, it works for now. So let's load a game up and see uh, see what that looks like. Right, we've got ABP running. Oh, by the way, I've also got myself a joystick finally. So let's see what this looks like. Now that it's in here, I can't see any, any problems at all with the picture. It's nice and clear and sharp. Here we go. So all in all, I'm pretty pretty happy with, with this setup. I don't know if I'd use it all the time, but um, for a bit of nostalgia and using be able to use a CRT screen until I sort out a different solution, it works pretty well. I'm also very happy now I've got my uh, joystick and I've got something else on the way that will help me explore this machine a lot more as well. So. Hope you enjoyed that little tip, thanks for watching and see you next time.